Miss Turkey. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. It's time to make supper. Tonight we're making stay-at-home stew, although me, Sissy, and Manly are the only ones who stayed home today. Well, this afternoon, anyway. After lunch, Titus, Tyler, and Jonah went to go with a friend to look at a horse or some horses or something. Jacob and one of his friends went bowling a little while after that, so now it's just the three of us here. They're in my room watching a movie, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this stew started. We have five and a half cinnamon rolls left from breakfast this morning. I'm just gonna wrap those up and put them in the refrigerator. So yeah, this is the stay-at-home stew recipe from the Jolly Holidays cookbook. I'm still getting some recipes out of there. Roosty out there showing off. We have only one day of Christmas break left. Tomorrow is the last day. School starts back on Tuesday. Let's see, so we have the oh, stew meat. Is dry. Oh, thanks, you need it wet a little bit? You trying to wipe your mouth? Okay. Here, let me get you a clean one. Too. Okay. Manly drew this picture for me earlier. Tell them who it is. You. It's me. Doesn't that look just, I mean, look at that. It's like he took a picture. It's a side profile. See? Identical. Mm hmm. Very good. He said I can keep it all day. He's not going to erase it, right? We'll prop it up over here. Okay, so we have 2.6 pounds of stew meat. You know what, I might not use all of this because I'm pretty sure Jake's gonna eat at the bowling alley again. So yeah, we'll just double it. We'll put a little bit of this uh, back in the freezer. See, again. Mm-hmm, he fixed the switch, huh? This was the old one. We weren't joking about the Band-Aid thing. It was for real. <laughs> this little part of it right here, it was just loose inside of this or something. I don't know what was going on with it, but yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, Daddy put a new one. This one, like, you had to have it in just the right spot for that light over there to work. Oh, this, by the way, I had a few questions about it. It's a shacket, so it's a shirt and jacket, you know. At the same time, I got it from the Simply Southern Outlet. We only have a Simply Southern Outlet store near us. Um, in Pigeon Forge, there might be a real Simply Southern store, not an outlet one. But, you know, at the outlets, there's usually something a little bit wrong with the things or it's just extra stuff that they want to get rid of so they send it to the outlet stores. Uh, this, it's really soft. It's really soft and I love the design on it and the colors, but the sleeves are really short. So I'm feeling like that's what was wrong with these. I sized up even just so that the sleeves would be a little bit longer and they're still kind of short. So yeah, I love how it looks and feels. It's wonderful, but it has the sleeves or something's going on with the sleeves. <laughs> I like going to the outlet though because you can get stuff for pretty cheap there, like really cheap. I got a dress one time for $5 from there, $5. And last spring, I think, I think it was this past spring, we went there and they had their shoes for just $5 a pair, little, like little slip-on shoes. They were really cute. They kind of had this same design, but different colors. Me and Sissy got some of those and I found lots of cute things for her there too. So yeah, I like the outlet stores because it's cheap, but there's usually a little something, something, wrong and with this it's the sleeves but it's still fine okay i put a little bit of oil in here we're gonna put in the stew meat this recipe also cooks the stew in the oven but we're just gonna cook it on the stove top they cook it in the oven for like five hours on 275 or something we're just gonna cook it on the stove real quick all right we're gonna put some salt and pepper on here and I'm gonna put some of this Steak King Chop House Blend seasoning on it. And I think I'll put some of the wood-fired garlic. I really like this wood-fired garlic seasoning. It gives just a little hint of a smoky flavor to whatever you put it on. Okay, so we're gonna brown this until it's almost cooked through. Then we'll remove it from the pot and cook our onions and carrots in there. I am gonna preheat the oven though to 350 because we are gonna make some cornbread once we get the stew going here. Because after we cook the vegetables and all for a little bit, we'll put the stew meat back in and it's just gonna simmer over here for about 30 minutes. I need to make some tea.
Okay, I'm gonna remove the meat from the pot now. We'll just sit it over to the side. Now we're gonna put in just a little bit of butter and the carrots and onions. And we'll let these cook for about five to seven minutes. Then we'll add in the garlic and the celery. Still have to chop the celery real quick. And we gotta get the potatoes in there. I can't believe I almost forgot the potatoes. These little blue ones are my favorite. I'll wash some of these and get them chopped up real quick. Oh, that's pretty. Lots of pretty colors in there. I'm not following the recipe exactly. It also calls for peas and we're, we're gonna leave those out, but I'll put the original below for y'all. I'm also gonna add these stewed tomatoes and the recipe calls for tomato soup. So we are gonna use the tomato soup. Everything's getting nice and tender in here. We're gonna go ahead and add the garlic and the celery. Huh? Uh, I'll be red. This is setting up a game over there. I'm gonna put a little more salt and pepper in here. Okay, we're gonna add the meat back in. Now the stewed tomatoes, not drained. And we'll put the soup. And we'll do two cans of water. The recipe does say to add a little water, so. Add those in. Now we'll bring this up to a simmer and then turn it down to low and cover it. Leave a little room to vent and it's just gonna simmer for 30 to 40 minutes and we'll make some cornbread. Just a second ago, we learned that a gorilla can eat 45 pounds of food in a day, and a medium-sized cumulus cloud weighs more than 50 elephants. I didn't believe that one, but it's weird but true. <laughs> I got this from Walmart. A few of y'all asked where it came from. It's National Geographic Kids Weird But True, the game. Looks like y'all did this one. It looks like somebody bit it. Did somebody bite this one? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Which one is bigger? The Amazon rainforest or India? I'm going with A, the Amazon rainforest. Uh, I think I'm going with A too. Yep, it's A, the Amazon rainforest. Oh, oh man! Okay, y'all, it's a little while later. Titus and the boys just got here. We already taste tested the stew a little bit. It's great. I think using the tomato soup in it instead of just, you know, beef broth or tomato sauce or anything like that, gave it a lot more flavor, plus the wood-fired garlic and steakhouse blend seasoning that we put in there helped too, but yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm.